Hello chess lovers, Surin here and I have a very impressive attacking game for you played by Armenian chess grandmaster Rafael Vaganyan against Belarusian chess player Viktor Kuprejcik. Still at the time of this game in 1974, Kuprejcik was not a grandmaster, he got his GM norm only 6 years later in 1980. Now let's see how the game went on. Vaganyan had white pieces and he started with d4, knight f6 by Kuprejcik and bishop g5, white goes for Trampovsky attack. With his second move, white intends to exchange the dark squared bishop with the knight, thus damaging black's pawn structure on the king's side. But of course this is not a lethal threat, black can allow doubling of the pawns c5, d5 and queen b6, black queen is coming after the pawn on b2 square using the fact that white bishop is absent and knight c3, Vaganyan goes for this razor sharp poisoned pawn variation allowing black to capture on b2 and black accepted the sacrifice and captured on b2. Earlier that year Vaganyan had already tested this line against Yansa Vlastimil and beat him in 38 moves. If I am not mistaken, this line was actually pioneered by Vaganyan himself. Bishop d2 was played, queen b6. Already after bishop d2, there is a very nasty threat. White is threatening rook b1, followed by knight b5. For example, if you play g6, just a random move, then white will play rook b1 and then knight b5, and this is going to be terrible for black. That's why after bishop d2, the queen retreated back on b6 square, now comes e4, d6, f4, the f pawn is coming to support the e pawn and g6, which is not the best continuation, it was better to stop white pawns further advancement by playing e5. If f takes e5, then d takes e5, and then knight d7. But in the game we see g6. And here we go, the e pawn marches forward. And after the exchange on e5, white is getting these powerful pawns on the fifth rank. Knight d7, which can actually create too many problems for black. Knight f3, bishop g7, black is intensifying the pressure on e5. First we see rook b1, the white rook is occupying the b file, is kicking away black queen and then here we go e6. Actually now this looks very scary, f takes e6 was played and another powerful move by Vaganyan, knight g5, look at this. Here is the idea, now if you capture on d5 then white can simply play knight e6, thus forking the queen and the bishop. If queen a5 then white can first capture on d5 and only then on g7. Or after knight g5, of course if you castle king side then again knight takes e6 finishes up black. Let's go back, that's why after knight g5 we see knight f6. Black is opening up the bishop's diagonal, but now comes the light squared bishop, bishop b5 check. King f8, well if bishop d7 then again white can capture on e6 using the fact that the bishop on d7 is pinned. That's why king f8 was played, now comes d takes e6 and now this powerful wedge on e6 square just gives black no air to breathe. a6 trying to kick away the bishop from b5 square but Vaganyan is not even thinking to move his bishop. He played bishop e3, offered an exchange of queens. Queen a5 was played but actually it was better to exchange the queens. Right now of course you can't capture on b5 because of this rook d8 check and then white can also castle king side with a check and then capture on c8. This is a total destruction. That's why after rook takes d1, black should play bishop a6. Though again after rook d8 check followed by the exchange of rooks and knight f7 check, again this is going to be crushing. White has a winning position. Let's go back but in the game after bishop e3 we see queen a5. Right now both the bishop and the knight on c3 are hanging but Vaganyan cold heartedly castled king's side. It turns out that the queen can't leave the d8 a5 diagonal because of this mating threat. 
or if a move like a takes b5 this time white can capture on b5 now if queen takes c3 then simply queen d8 checkmate the knight on f6 is pinned or after rook takes b5 if queen c7 then knight d5 queen e5 can be made with bishop takes c5 and if queen d8 then again bishop takes c5 if a move like knight c6 then queen f3 intensifying the pressure and this is a total destruction guys that's why after castling kingside kuprechik responded with h6 right now vaganian's three pieces are hanging but he was not even thinking about moving away his pieces under the fire he spotted another weakness in black's camp and this time he played queen d3 this is the most precise move after which the engine actually shows mate in nine moves this queen is coming after the pawn on g6 followed by a mating thread king g8 was played but let's have a look what if for example black will win one of the pieces if h takes g5 then queen takes g6 and black king is getting checkmated or after queen d3 if a takes b5 then again queen takes g6 and again black king is getting checkmated that's why after queen d3 king g8 was played and white is simply grabbing the pawn on g6 bishop takes e6 knight takes e6 right now there is a mating threat rook goes on h7 to protect the bishop and now comes another powerful move this time rook takes f6 white is simply removing the knight which was covering the e8 square and already queen e8 is the threat for example if you play e takes f6 then queen e8 check followed by queen f8 checkmate let's go back after rook takes f6 knight d7 was played a desperate move but after bishop takes d7 finally kuprechik resigned now if for example queen takes c3 then white can play rook f7 if queen takes e3 check then king h1 and there is not much black can do right now there is too much pressure on g7 if queen c3 then rook f1 if king h8 then can you find the winning move for white ready actually knight f8 is winning on the spot if rook takes f8 then after the exchange on f8 square black king is getting checkmated that's why understanding that his position is hopeless after bishop takes d7 kuprachik resigned a very impressive attacking game i think played by armenian grandmaster rafael vaganyan thanks for watching i hope that you enjoyed this mighty attack for more games don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video